Yo, what's going on everybody? It's another episode of my Minecraft survival. Here you can see this smeltery I made. I just did it in between episodes. You can see, put the coal in the top there, your ores or meat or whatever you want to smelt in the bottom, and it just smelts it all up. I was wondering why this furnace wasn't working and it was because there was actually a rail in it. So this thing is amazing. Look at just, I mean, right away it did like over a stack of iron and stuff and I was just super happy about it. Next, I made a bunch of fireworks and everyone knows what that means in Minecraft survival. It's time to fly around with your elytra. I traded for a woodland mansion map and headed off with my elytra to go and find this thing. You could see my capital building here, I flew over it and I came across lots of things, one of them being a mushroom island. I made sure to jot down the coordinates because this place was amazing. And finally, I made it to the woodland mansion. This place was super exciting for me because I had never really explored one before. So you can see all this hallway and <laughs> just places I need to light up, but maybe even I do something with it in the future. I don't know yet. Another thing is I had tons of like bookshelves and wool and flowers that I didn't have yet. And so it was cool. Like I would definitely come back and start grabbing stuff from the place for sure. And there's lots of things like this big chicken and a big cat as well. And then into the nether later on, I went and grabbed some nether quartz because I wanted to make my capital building peak look like a little bit better. I also stopped at one of the other guys' bases and went and checked it out. Just look at his capital building and some of the other stuff he's built. If you go into this cave here, he has a fully auto sorted like storage system. It was really cool. I need to make one of my own soon. And he was also making this big villager trading hall he's been telling me about, and I'm pretty excited to see what will happen. And there's also these man-made water pathways he's making and all kinds of other stuff. And I'm really excited just to see what he's able to do with this in the future. He's got this big sugarcane farm as well, and I actually stole some sugarcane. And I made an office in his capital building, and it has things like bookshelves and barrels and lots of other just wooden storage. And back at my place, I did a little fly around with the elytra and you can see I extended that capital building ceiling a little bit just to make it even better from the inside. I also did a little bit of flying around, just checking out my base and planning my next move. And my next move happened to be getting the wither boss spawned in my world. This was actually a long time of grinding for Wither skulls, I didn't even record it, but right away I mined some diamond ore that the guy had exposed, and then from there it was just slopping him around after I drank my strength potion, and yeah, he didn't stand a chance against my gear. With that nether star, of course, I wanted to make a beacon, so that's what I did. I made a beacon placed down right next to my capital building and gave myself jump boost and regeneration. After that, I made some blue stained glass for that beacon and also made my first shield and a banner to go along with that. So now I had a pink shield and next to that was gonna be my beacon. And now it's time for a bigger project. I wanted to move all of my farms and animals to somewhere else. First of all, it was kind of laggy for me. And second of all, I just didn't want to right in front of my Capitol building like that. So. I did naturally what anyone would do and just started clearing out mass amounts of land. So here you can see just a little bit of that big grass patches that I cleared out. And here's a fast forwarded clip of just me having all these fences down laid out for animals to get moved into. And then the next thing was just to bring all these animals over. Here's the chickens and the cows and later I'd do sheep. And it was a big project, but now it's all gone and I think it looks a lot more clean cut. I did some exploring looking for cocoa bean and cactus. And along the way, I found all kinds of things like ice and the pillager house. And I even freed this iron golem cause he's a homie. Up on the top, there was terrible loot. So I made sure to lead those guys, but I did find one or two treasures um, buried in the sand over time. And they had some pretty good loot, I'll be honest. So when I was back at home, I planted down some jungle saplings and put some cocoa beans to grow on them. So now I had cocoa beans, could make all the cookies if I wanted to. And then here is me with my cows and pigs and sheep 
and chickens, all kinds of stuff. And I was even making a pen for each different color of sheep. I don't know why, I just thought that'd be kind of cool. Although it took longer than I'm willing to admit, I'm kind of glad I cleared out all this space and had all these sheep, sheep colors now. And this is another clip where you can see I just added all the colors and extended with even more dirt. That's going to be my episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.